Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use markup in Safari on a web page on the iPhone 14 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, open up the Safari web browser. In here, next, go to the web page that you want to use the markup and then tap on the share button at the bottom. Now scroll down and tap on markup in the menu. Once you are in the markup mode, you can use a number of different tools for markup. There is a pencil, you got highlighter, so this pencil here. You got highlighter, so you can highlight part of the text. You got crayons, so you can use crayons to underline. You also have pencil to erase your previous markup. There is also a selection tool. And then you can also use a ruler. So you can cut that. So this is the ruler right here. The rulers will help you to draw a straight line in your on the in the web page. Now you can also turn the ruler as well. So you can use two finger to turn the rulers and here you can draw use the rulers to draw on the page and you can also choose a color so you could grid you can choose a color from a spectrum or a slider the slider will give you a hex code number you can also enter in the hex code to select a color and that is pretty much uh, pretty much it if you tap on the Highlighter, you can choose a tip size, so you can change the size of your highlighter. You can uh, change the strength or the transparency of that highlighter. Similar to pencil, if you tap on the pencil, so the first tap will allow you to select a pen. Then if you tap on it again, it will come, come up with a selection tool where you can select the size of the pencil tip and you can choose the pressure of that uh, pencil. And that's it, that is how you can use markup. Once you have finished, you can tap on the markup to close it. To resume your markup, tap on the markup icon. Now in here, you can also insert a text box and you can also drag the text box around the screen. You can resize it. So within this uh, text box right here, just trying to see if I can move it. You should be able to move it around the screen. And here it is. So you can move it around the screen. You can resize the text box. I don't think you can format the text. It's come with a, a standard text size. Uh, you are unable to format it, but you can um, tap on edit, you can duplicate the text box, you can delete it or copy it. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Um, sorry, just before we finish off, when you tap on the done button, you can then save the files uh, to a folder. So in here, it's going to save it to downloads. Then tap on done. You should be able to just simply save it. And then yeah, so in here in the folder in the downloads folder, tap on the save button. And that will save your markup file as a PDF file. Finally, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.